Houston, uh, Houston had was one Kenneth for a long and time. Hicks yeah. and Greenlee and Pineapple. Did yeah, you know Pineapple? I worked with Pineapple once. You know what he used to do? He would drive all the way across Houston to ignore me. <laughs> That's what he he did it. He did it all the time too. And I he, he had no reason to be there. And I, I and, and I know a lot uh, that some of those guys didn't like me because I don't I don't know why. I don't know why, but they were really, really clickish. And I went in there mm. one night and had a horrible set. And uh, and I was following Hicks. And, uh, you know, and, and I had a really green show. But in the right circumstance, you know, in a comedy club uh, with nothing great happening before you, it kind of worked a little bit. <laughs> but that night, it didn't work at all. Yeah. And, uh, it, it, but, and I was probably getting a little more work than those guys were, some of them. Mm-hmm. And they were like... Oh, he sucks. Yeah. Well, the fact of the matter is, I did suck I, because my act would up. You know, you don't want to follow Hicks. Right? I, 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 I say that to make the story better. I wasn't right. following Hicks, but he was, you know, or Kennison, but they were both there. Oh, okay. And right, uh, right. had done set, but everybody was good. I so mean, Greenlee was good. All these sets. guys were seasoned yeah. pros. That, that was a, a hot lineup. And, uh, but for, but I never felt you know like they like any of them liked me except for Hicks, and I came to see him you know do do shows and uh, I asked him to do uh, the story about uh, just that John Davidson and the mask oh, yeah. and, the, and, and, the, and he goes uh, he goes what he says he goes don't stand next to the exits just a tip because <laughs> people just walk out of the show when he does I watched it and, him do that he he. Uh, he did that at the Nick's Comedy Stop in Boston, <laughs> and he cleared the fucking room, man. And it was, it was crazy because at the end of the show, there was me and Greg Fitzsimmons and uh, maybe three or four other comics and five or six people in the crowd. There was like maybe 20 people left, all told, laughing our fucking asses. All right. Everybody else is getting up angry. I, I saw it go both ways. You know, I've seen yeah. him beat crowds to death. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I saw a set one night at the Laugh Stop in Austin, and nobody in the room could breathe, and he was in the mood to do it. And, mm. uh, you know, and, you know, and, and, I, and I think sometimes he was, and sometimes he wasn't, yeah. or whatever. But he was in the mood and decided to just fucking stab us all in the face, and uh, <laughs> and it was and yeah. it was just it was beautiful. He was exceptional, <clears throat> you know. Whether or not people think he was one of the greats, like that, you, that's entirely subjectional, right? It's subjective, rather. It's it's completely up to your own interpretation. But to me, he changed comedy in a lot of ways because he he made people talk about things that were important. Because everybody else is talking about nonsense. You're talking about airline food and how come I can't lean right. my seat back. Yeah, right, right. Standard normal shit. Exactly. I'm falling You're and exactly I can't right. get up. Exactly right. And he was coming along talking about uh, positive drug stories. You know, uh, right. a man on acid <laughs> realized that all matter is energy, energy condensed to a slow rhythmic <laughs> vibration. And, like that whole fucking bit was Here's amazing. Here's Tom with the weather. Yeah, that bit was amazing. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It was. And he was influential. I mean, yeah. I, I, I think. I, I can say this about Bill Hicks, and, and I am an expert at stand-up comedy. I would have a triple doctorate in uh, if you gave those kinds of things for the work I've the amount of time I've put into 100%. it. Hundred percent, and and, uh, and, it, <clears throat> and you as a peer would have the exact same thing. So, for me to listen to someone's opinion about stand-up comedy. They have to have a lot of cred to me before yeah. I really give a shit what they think. Okay, yeah. so here's what you should think: the only thing that every comic from my generation agrees on is he was better than us, mm. and uh, that's the only thing that they agree yeah. on. And 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 they and I can't find anybody that has a big argument. That he wasn't. Now, was he the the best that ever lived? No, but did he influence me more than anybody else, and you probably more than anybody else? Because you're certainly that way, also. You know, right? Some mm. somebody built that bridge. Yes. And, and you and now you feel f- free to talk about anything. You know, none of your act is ever hack. You know, there were a lot of hacks. But I think yeah. Hicks freed people not to be a hack. You know. Yeah, he uh, he cured people of that. He made it shameful. You know, we're right. talking about hack, but there was also. Uh, and then you you cured him of stealing material. So <laughs> I don't know if I did. I, yeah, well, I think it's still going on. 